What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the eighth episode of the Read Me podcast. My name is Vanuka, and I'm Yudanje, and we actually have him back instead of Mahesh from last week. Oh yeah, yeah, we killed Mahesh and stuffed him under the bed. Pieces Mahesh 2014 2014. Where do we start today? It has been an interesting week. Indeed. <laughs> interesting is my way to put it. <laughs> all right, let's start with dialogue. So, um, all Sri Lankans are pretty much used to getting spam SMSs from dialogue. I mean, come on, it's it's not like every other operator does this. We get tons of messages, be it Lord of the Reload, um, random accident Wait, did they actually do something called Lord of the Reload? They actually have something called Lord of the Reload. And uh, they have accident cover and all sorts of stuff. In fact, I just got a message. Check this out, right? I just got a message uh, from these guys saying that there's an offer. Yeah, learn whatever. Learn a modern English word, blah, 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 blah. Something, something, iPhone 6, sent to double seven double zero. So these guys do this quite a lot. But Dialogue has sunk to a new low. What they're, what they're doing is... is it, isn't this borderline criminal? <laughs> it's actually borderline criminal. What they're doing is they're sending messages to people asking them to sign up for Facebook via USSD. They're asking people to send their Facebook usernames and passwords across SMS. Mind you, this is... This is me, freaking yeah, dialogue, by the Let me way. just Let me just remind you, this is criminal behavior and not allowed under Facebook's normal terms and conditions. You're not allowed to give a third... I mean, you're literally... It, it, they tell you never to give a third party your password, and especially not over clear text like SMS. But back to the point. They're asking you to give them your password, your entire login credentials to your Facebook account through SMS. And then when you don't, you know what they do? They keep sending you messages saying, Dear, whatever your name is, you have two notifications pending in your Facebook account. Dial star 325 hash to check and enjoy unlimited Facebook on your phone. What they're doing here is a phishing attack. Now, normally under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, right? Article 25. This is illegal. This comes under false and misleading advertising. Did you actually check that? Yes. Good for you, man. It's, Good it, for you. it's actually <laughs> it's actually illegal, but this is Sri Lanka. We don't have such a thing. Like, I mean, but they're just they're just laws. It yeah. doesn't mean you have to obey the laws, yeah. right? But but you know what, dialogue. I mean, whoever their marketing team is, whoever's behind this, I assume forget the laws. I assume they've heard of things like basic ethics. They I've really heard, I just hope they've they've been fired by now at least. Well, hopefully chopped up into small pieces and tossed into the sea. Now, basically, even if this isn't illegal, this is phishing. They're saying you have two notifications pending from Facebook. That's wrong when they haven't even got the login. Um, now, God knows what oh, they happen. actually give you notifications exactly. without your login. Right? Yeah, without this your login. This is fake, right? No, 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 no. They are using a new telepathic communication <laughs> technology where they log, they use these the phones. They project a signal and it goes to your brain. Now, what happens <laughs> when the signal reaches your brain is that it goes through your memory, identifies nerve stimulating patterns, and guesses your code. And then it uses that and makes a new sort of API which logs into your Facebook information and gets all the notifications. Now, with all of that technology... I didn't even understand that. But basically what happens is they say you have two notifications. Oh, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Regardless just, of who you are. <laughs> now, the point is, even if this isn't illegal under consumer law, this is still a phishing attack. It's right? just stupid. It's, it's, it's a flat-out phishing attack. Now, I don't know what game dialogue is playing here. And I certainly don't know what they, what game they're going to play in the courtroom if somebody challenges them. But honestly, God help them if Facebook gets to know of this. It would really be a shame if Zuckerberg were to say this in his inbox, wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if it's like this random 15-year-old trying to get other people's... It's still not okay, but I mean, it's, it, it's okay. a random 15-year-old who really cares. But then again, this is one of the largest companies in the country. It's not a large country, but it's still a pretty sizable company. <laughs> exactly. And wow. Well, this is Sri Lanka in a nutshell. We have the largest companies in uh, literally one of the largest companies actually, committing cybercrime. It's not even like they're sending you a link for you to log in. They yeah, tell you to text their password. Password. Over Just, clear text. Over like literally unprotected. Oh my God. 
I can't. And then get this, right? Dialogue isn't the only one. They're not the only one who are doing this. Airtel is also doing this. But um, since none of us are on Airtel. Right, right. That's an issue. Yeah, it's like nobody uses Airtel. So we didn't actually get the message, but we did get it to dialogue. And soon after we po- uh, we posted an article regarding this, tons of yeah. users have been tagging us in their, um, like posting screenshots and saying this happened to me too. So yeah, there should yeah. be policies on advertising. There like, should be laws against this kind of thing in Sri Lanka. No, in most countries, this is illegal. Here's another issue, right? It's not just dialogue. Even it is a lot. But it is a lot doesn't do this Facebook. It doesn't, does the, it doesn't this. do the Facebook thing, right? But what it is a lot actually does is they have this thing where they actually call you. Like I got three calls today uh-huh. from Etisala uh-huh. and they are asking whether I am capable of listening to what they have to say for a few minutes. And no. <laughs> and what they do is they play an ad. They literally call you. It's not from a... Yeah, a, yeah. Like, I think uh, Mo, even Mobitel does this. It's insane. It's, it's stupid. These people should be shot or so fired. What I, what I do is... Or both shot and fired at the same time. What I do is I just block the number permanently. Yeah. And what happens oh, is get, they use different numbers. Oh, and then get this. We tr- I tried that with dialogue, right? Dialogue's blacklist doesn't work. They uh. rec- they charge you for using their blacklist. So they send you messages, then you have to use their bloody blacklist, and they make bank off that. That is so stupid. Dude, it's not stupid. <laughs> it's It should be unethical on an entirely different level. How desperate are these companies? But never mind. I think I can go on on this topic forever. So let's, not, let's not go on on this topic forever. Right. And what is next? We have uh, eSobimani happened, by the way. And also we went to Jaffna. The yes. whole readme team packed up. The reason why he wasn't here last episode was because of the fact that he was in Jaffna. Exactly. I was um, being introduced to... Food in Jaffna, which I have to say, I'm I'm really sorry, but I didn't particularly enjoy it. I don't like vegetarianism, no, do I condone it? I believe that all human beings should eat a lot of meat. Uh, but but regardless of that fact, uh, the Yal Geek Challenge held in Jaffna was actually quite superb. Right? Really? That's, yeah, that's we, not something you hear every it's, day? It's a hack, it was a hackathon. And honestly, I went in there expecting more of what you see at most Colombo hackathons. That is, lots of people copying foreign sites. And coming up with some kind of WordPress thing that they're going to do and it, uh, with a very iffy proposition. But instead what we saw, well, we did see a little bit of that. But what we saw was genuinely localized solutions, genuinely good solutions. And quite a lot of them hardware based with actual effort putting to them. Not just websites, but actual stuff. And I was particularly impressed by how good the pitches were from people in that area. There were also students from Slit, there were students from University of Colombo, University of Murutua. But by and large, I saw students there, like junior participants from schools, that could have put 99% of Colombo hackathon participants to crying shame. Their pictures were so professional, right? And I tell you, there's real potential there. there it's like a very small, it's a, the IT economy there is practically non-existent, but I'm telling you, there's real potential up north. Right. So that being said, there's not much stuff that happened in Sri Lanka in terms of tech, but there are a few interesting things that did happen around the world. Now, one is from Amazon. They released, oh, the Echo. Amazon released a product called Amazon Echo. What now, is it though? Now, if you watch the video, which mm-hmm. has gained over a million views in the short period that has been up, it's... Basically, if you were to describe it simply, it's probably like a Siri with a speaker. Really? It's like the literally... Wait, what does it do? It does stuff. It basically does stuff. <laughs> like, right? You like, can like, ask it questions, up? play mm-hmm. music, and mm-hmm. the best way to do it would be for you to watch the video. The link will be in the description. Now, the issue is that this video has gotten so much negative feedback that it deleted the like and dislike buttons on YouTube and also disabled commenting. Now, what most Why? users are believing is that it's probably a troll. I mean, it, I, I kind of like the concept. It's it's sort of it's, like a Bluetooth-ish speaker, right? It's, it, you could like the concept if it makes any sense. Is it Why true? wouldn't it make sense? Why would you think it has... Because Siri's been done. I mean, Siri is not particularly new tech. It's... Doable but tech. Why do you think it has no uh, comments? Why is the only video right, on Amazon? Right. No, that's that's YouTube. Okay, forget YouTube for a moment. But I mean, it's the community's reaction that they've blocked yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, it's community's reaction and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, 
it still looks like a good product and it's not entirely impossible it's probably a troll huh. by amazon because amazon does do that from time to time but this is the company that also put out a phone a smartphone that i don't think anybody bought it but right, they're that, still they're that, pushing ahead with that they that, have the money they yeah obviously they and have, they the, have money. the tech they did blunder really hard yeah and they do have the tech to pull this off right but basically the amazon uh what's it called echo. amazon echo it you have a 99 oh and the amazon echo is designed around your voice it's always on just ask for information music news weather and more echo begins working as soon as it hears you say the wake word alex wait what is alex what? the freaking company that listens no it's it's uh, owned by amazon Right, but still, but why would you call this Alexa? Alexa. Okay, it's got to be a troll. It's got to it's be a troll. It's got yeah, to be a troll. Yeah. Hey, I'm not going to call a speaker Alexa. That's that's I mean, way too personal. I mean, if you guys personal. know Alexa, it's the site it's a site which you can use to measure metrics of other other websites. people's web- websites and it does it rather badly. It's the best you have, right? There's but it's no still, one else but it's still rather job. bad. It's still bad. It needs improvement, but a lot of still, improvement. It's still a decently functioning website, no. which gives gross which relies on the fact that your users need a particular toolbar installed to track their visits. Not, uh, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. It is, it is. Trust it's, me, we tried this. It's still the best we have. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. Still not a good product, though. Anyway, what's next on the list? The next is Blizzard's <laughs> new game, Overwatch. Oh my god. Now there are lots of issues with this game. One is this is, thing a f- a game or is it a film? Right. The people who did the animations, it's probably done by a massive studio because it looks like an actual 3D animated movie. No, no, but, but okay, but you know what Blizzard's famous for doing this. Yes. Remember Warcraft, Remember yes. Warcraft 3. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. That was really good and this was back in 2000, right? They created content that would have looked good now back in 2000. Now the issue is it's a it looks like a great game, but, but that's all we know. We looks don't... like it. Exactly. They didn't actually release any gameplay but from what it looks like we'll just explain a bit. The videos in the description but the um, the Cliff Notes version is it kind of looks like it'll shape up to be a, a sci-fi. Shooter. Yeah, pretty much a sci-fi Oh, they have a gameplay they trailer. Brilliant. Gameplay. Okay, so it is a sci-fi it looks MMO like a FPS. Shooter. It's not an MMO. I really oh, no, no. It looks mobile. No, no. This is this has got to be an FPS. It is an FPS but it doesn't look MM it doesn't look like a uh, hmm. full-scale well, RPG. Think, think wow. Okay. Think Team Fortress crossed with Mecha. Think uh, think Team Fortress crossed with Gundam crossed with I think that's that some elements like of Assassin's of, Creed. Age of Wushu. Yeah, an age of Wushu <laughs> and probably Assassin's Creed also because there's a dude running around with a bow and that, he's basically kind scaling of an, walls. A, that's kind of what Age of Wushu is. Okay, dude but running. I mean this looks really cool. Okay, it it does look really cool. If you guys Honest. have played Firefall, uh, oh yeah, yeah, this looks graphics, a lot like I mean the gra- the art direction is very Firefall, isn't it? Yes, but it looks like it's been brushed up and improved upon because it's blizzard and they can afford to do that of course and this is a studio that has been doing really good games for a really really long time i mean they've been doing one game which is better than most <laughs> games combined yeah world of warcraft nobody ever got around to killing it did they i don't think you can yeah we've the, been i mean we've been hearing the words wow killer for so many years but the issue with wow killers is the fact that i mean world of warcraft is an old game but the fundamentals of the game the fact that it runs on a subscription based system i believe i mean this is my opinion and i do think that you cannot defeat a subscription based game with a free to play business model because at one point to make a free to play game profitable you're going to have to introduce elements to the game which makes it pay to win even if the advantage is extremely slight i'm unless if you have games like dota 2 and league of legends where you can have 100 millions of players and bring in money through esports yeah, pop pop cosmetics basically right. cosmetics and esports it, you really can't pull that off on a mmorpg because the servers and the services you need to run something of that caliber is far far above running but a game but in like all mobile. fairness subscri- a lot of subscription mmos did take a crack at the title uh, wow killer and even though you know what even though even though world of warcraft is running at like half the numbers it did back in the day 
<laughs> nobody's even gotten close right i mean maybe <laughs> mmorpgs it's like a dying art of game, j- j- dying genre there are tons of people who play it but maybe it's reducing. it's not a dying genre see what happened was what people failed to realize is the innovation plays a good part in it everquest came everquest was very popular and that was good then world of warcraft came and it sort of began this this particular have you played thematic. everquest landmark no, but I I've did read, get into I've the beta the first time. of uh, Landmark. Okay. It was really fun. Okay, the sandbox element was of it was brilliant. Okay, but then again, it's just an extension. It's until EverQuest Next comes out properly, which it's, it didn't all right. Get. So it's sort of like an interim. Thing. It's basically like EverQuest Next ah. fused with Minecraft. Whoa! I want you can to see build this. anything. I want to see this. It sounds like Trove that MMO is talking about a lot, like Minecraft. Right, but it's the graphics are like Overwatch. Wow! Really? Yes. That good. EverQuest Next had probably one of the greatest graphics for a, uh, what's it? MMR but the PC. point I'm making is a lot of a lot of subscription based titles have taken a crack at that that wow killer crown and none of them have ever made it. Right. Blizzard really knows how to make a good game, so which is why I'm so excited for Overwatch, which is how we started off talking about it. Yes. First. Whoa. This is EverQuest Next. I'm actually Whoa. showing you Zanja video, and he's. Like, wow. You can build anything. You can literally sculpt. I want to play this. Can it, you get me into this? The beta is now closed, so you can't play it now. Damn you. But uh, EverQuest Landmark is basically just a game in EverQuest where you build stuff, right? You can build anything with pure precision and... Okay, so so basically... Oh, by the way, I tried Arcage, wasn't... Mm. I told you, I, to- I told mm. you. No, no, I'm actually quite impressed. I was going to say I didn't have the time to... <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I was oh. going to say I didn't have the time to play it properly. Right. I'm actually okay. quite impressed. It's very sandboxy. And I think that, see, uh, World of Warcraft uh, came out and it sort of set in stone this theme park thing, right? right? That everybody followed for like the next decade. And now developers are figuring out that the theme park isn't working anymore, that you need to be Blizzard to pull it off. So now they're going back to the sandboxes, right? The models that we had when Ultima and all of these things were up there, were things where you could actually do anything, EverQuest, so on, right. Dark Age of Camelot and so on and so forth. Um, so it's interesting to see how, how, you know, history repeats itself. You went from the sandbox to the theme park. Now we're going back to the sandpark and probably in the future somebody will come up with a way of making theme parks so epically good that they'll just, everybody will just go back to the theme park again. Right. What do you think, what do you think, um, these guys will be though? Blizzard's game. What, what's it called again? Overwatch. Overwatch. Uh, I, I heard that Overwatch is basically the re-sculpted PvP aspect. Of Titan. Of Titan. Titan is an abandoned project by Blizzard. Why do you think they let it go though? Let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really don't know. They, have, they probably have their reasons, right? It's Blizzard. We have to give them the benefit of the doubt and let them know, like, let them think that they know what they're doing because they probably do. They probably do know what they're doing. Because it's Blizzard. <laughs> <and> <laughs> well, the EverQuest next looks pretty in- inspiring, but what do we have next on the stuffed around about list? We don't. We are out of stuffed around about. Really? Yes. Ah. Oh. And we've um, gone for a good 17 minutes. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, let us end this and return you to whatever you were doing before you productively started listening to us. <laughs> At least we hope what you're doing now <laughs> is going to be slightly more productive than what you were doing for the past <laughs> 17 minutes. But at least you're a little bit more educated now. I wouldn't call it educated, but let's say informed, informed I guess. Informed, informed. Right, and on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen... What is with you and bombshells? You cannot just... Jeremy Clarkson. You cannot simply use this word whenever you feel fit. Jeremy Clarkson. I've been watching too much Top Gear recently. I hate Top Gear. (laughs) You and every feminist on the planet. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I, we, in speaking of about feminism, we could have gone into Gamergate with any team. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, for the love of God, there's been enough done about that. I don't want to talk about it because even right. it's like, don't feed the troll. Right. We shall actually end this now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest podcast and all the stuff we do about tech in Sri Lanka. And if you can, feel free to hit that like button because it does help out a bunch. Thank you all for watching. My name is Banuka. And I'm Idanja. Have a nice day.